everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I have a surprise video for you guys. My normal uploads are Mondays and Fridays, however I am saving those for my Halloween looks. So this is a special upload and I'm going to be reviewing most of the Disney collection that ColourPop came out with. I was lucky enough to snag it up and I have been using it practically all week. I got mine super early and I've been wearing the eyeshadow palette every day to work, just kind of testing out the colors. That way I could give a full review for you guys. So before we get started, if you are not already subscribed, please go ahead and hit that big red button for me. Um, like I said, I normally post videos every Monday and Friday. You can also follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, and I'll have those all linked down below. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I want to start with, of course, the main attraction, which is the eyeshadow palette. Oh my gosh. ColourPop did Disney. That is like so awesome, okay? I love Disney movies. Belle is my absolute favorite, but I love all the princesses. You know, when I took my kids to Disney World, it really is like just this magical place. And the fact that they actually did a collab with Disney, and it's not like a kitty collab. This is like more mature. I was on board completely. So, uh, this is your box right here. I know it's kind of reflective and I'm sorry. Um, it has the princess's signatures all over the front, which I think is super, super cool. And then you have the names on the back. This eyeshadow palette is made in the USA and it is also cruelty free. So that is your case. This is your palette. Oh my goodness. Look at that. They're like all grown up. Designer clothes and everything. <laughs> I'm sorry. The packaging on this is just so cool. Um, so you have Tiana, Ariel, Belle, Jasmine, Snow White, and Cinderella. Um, so it says Disney Designer Collection. I love the little, little stars all around it. On the back it says it's a princess thing and then you have all the shadow names which I think is awesome. But the even more awesome part is when you open it up. Okay, so you have all of the, it's a little dirty, I'm sorry. So you have all of the signatures right here in big print where you can read them. Um, and then you also have, I don't know if you can tell, you actually also have the names of the shadows on the front as well. So you have it on the box, you have it on the back, and you have it on the front. So that is really cool. All right, so what we're gonna do real fast is we're gonna go ahead and jump to swatches since there are 15 shades, and then uh, we will move on to the rest of the collection. Okay, so here are your swatches right here. As you can see, they were swatched really, really nicely. I do wanna hold off on my thoughts and, and then we'll go over it all at the end. So once again, these are all your swatches. 
Okay, so out of all the lipsticks, I was going to pick up three. Um, I was going to pick up Snow White, but that one sold out pretty quickly, so I was not able to get to it. So I picked up um, Belle and Ariel. This is the box right here. Now, the reason I picked these up are the, these are more colors that I would wear. Um, I really would not wear those bright pinks. That's just really not my style, um, which I... I kind of wanted it for the packaging, but I, I really talked myself out of it. I was going to get the whole entire collection, um, but I was just kind of like, Cassie, you don't need it. You just get the main things that you're interested in, and you're good. Okay, so like I said, so Belle and Ariel, the packaging is so pretty. Oh my gosh, it's got their names on top. Got the little stars on the sides. So let's watch these for you guys. This is what it looks like right here. It's really pretty. It's got this gold. Just like the palette packaging, it has all the signatures all around uh, the lipstick tube itself. And then you have the shade names on the bottom. Now I will say that there is some weight to these, so they do feel a little bit more luxurious. Um, let's give these a swatch for you guys. This is Belle. so pretty all right and this is Ariel I actually have Ariel on my lips um, right now oh so pretty oh I love it so much I love these Lux lipsticks oh yes so there are your two shades. Um, I also picked up, there were three different lip glosses. I picked up two of the three. The other one that I did not get was just a clear lip gloss, although it would have been cute to have the bibbity bobbity boot. But <laughs> like I said, I was trying to control my shopping. So um, this is the box right here. I picked up bobbity and boo. So here is the here is what the tube looks like. It's got the little stars all the way around with the gold top. Really, really pretty, keeping up with the theme. So this is Bobbity. Kind of like a peachy creamsicle color. And then there is Boo, which is definitely more pink. Now, I know I say all the time that I am not a single eyeshadow person, which I'm not. <clears throat> However, their single super shock shadows, I have a little guilty pleasure of getting some of those. Um, so I looked at the ones in this collection and there were two that stood out to me the most and that would be Under the Sea and A Whole New World. All right, so this is what the packaging looks like. It's got the gold color pop here, and you can see the um, the castle on the front. So I'm gonna open these up. And then that is what they look like here, black with the castles on the front. I think that is so cute. Oh, I love it so much. <laughs> All right, so let's do a swatch for these guys. Of course, the green is under the sea. These feel a lot creamier than I remember. <sighs> there is your color for Under the Sea. This one's a whole new world. So there's Under the Sea and a whole new world. All right, so let's go ahead and get into thoughts on this collection. Um, let's start with the eyeshadow palette. First of all, for the whole entire collection, ColourPop gets like A++, okay? The packaging on this collection is beautiful. It is not childish. 
it is geared more towards adults that love Disney and that is something that I can get on board with that is something that I love and that is something that I really really appreciate um, I do like the new styled princesses on the packaging I love that it has the names on the back I love that it has the names on the inside um, and I love the little signatures of course this is the, does not come with a mirror so when I uh, when I'm applying my eyeshadow like I'll go to tap in it and then I go to look and I forget that there's no mirror so I have to put it down and get in the mirror I mean which is not, not a big deal it's not a deal, deal breaker for me but I kind of feel myself in that routine for other palettes that have mirrors of how convenient it is but that's okay <laughs> all right so as far as the shades go the shades are really really pretty um, not all of these are matte I actually have on Triton um, and this is more of a satin so I really had to build that up it's still a pretty shade but it's not matte um, so actually on my eyes let me go through this real fast uh, I have Chip, I have Triton, I have Beast, I also have Abu. Um, <laughs> here's where it gets crazy and I'll explain why in just a second. I have um, Under the Sea, green, <laughs> I have uh, A Whole New World, the purple, um, and I have a Thingamabob, this silver right here. So what happened was um, I started off with Under the Sea and I realized that it was kind of looking similar to the fall look I had just did um, like really really similar different green but I wanted to do something different so I'm like okay I already have the green on my eyes um, I didn't really want to take everything off it is really really late um, so I'm like okay I'll just put a whole new world over it and we'll we'll put those on top and maybe they'll they'll look really pretty together so I did that and this is what it looks like so i kept the green on right here okay let me show you let me put the purple over it it's really pretty in person but on the camera it just looks kind of like grayish and just kind of off um, so I'm like, crap, what, what, what can I put in my eyes? Cause I still don't want to take it off. So I was looking at these colors and I didn't think at any of these colors were going to go on top of this very well. So I decided to go with thingamabob. So I ended up with all three as my lid shade. Okay. Anyways, back to the palette. So, um, like I said, this is the satin. Um, all of them applied it very, very well as far as the top row goes. When you get into the second row, Fairy Godmother is chunky. This is not like my Dream Street palette. Those are very smooth, um, creamy. This is a little bit more of a chunky consistency. Um, however, they still work and they're still pretty. They're still manageable. Uh, Beast and Midnight Crew, they both have that glitter um, inside of it. Of course, when I blended Beast on my outer corner, that glitter fell right out. So if you don't want glitter, all you gotta do is just take a brush and it kind of flakes off. Um, I was not able to test Midnight Curfew. I'm not really sure if it does the same exact thing. However, when I swatch it, the glitter remained intact. But as far as when you go over it with a brush, I don't know if it's gonna stick around. But all in all, I really did pretty much buy this for the packaging. I love the shadows. I don't know if I will pull for it every single day. It is still something that I can use or I can grab if I'm in a hurry. Um, but let's face it, I got it for the packaging. Uh, I say if you want to get this, if you really want to get this, go for it. It's not a bad palette. I do enjoy it. Um, if Disney is not your thing, then you probably don't need this. So we're just gonna leave it at that. Going into the Super Sock Shadows, I love these, okay? Not only are the colors, oh, the colors are so gorgeous. They're so creamy, easy to work with. They're easy to blend. They blend really, really nicely with your finger. I don't necessarily use a brush. I just go in with the finger and it works perfectly. The only bad thing for me is of course, they're singles, you guys know. I am an eyeshadow palette junkie, um, but these will definitely go in my little super, my super shock shadow collection. So as you guys can see here, I do have a couple. These are really the only singles that I 
will purposely buy. <laughs> so if any of these colors interest, interest you from the Super Shock Shadow formula, go for it. I love them. I absolutely love them. All right, moving on to the lipsticks. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I love this formula. It is so creamy, so easy to put on. It's just comfortable. And you guys know I love a comfortable lip, okay? I don't want to have to sit there and it, my lips feel like I need to scrub them off. I literally feel like I have nothing on my lips. And the colors are so pretty. I wish I was able to get Snow White. It was just that pure classic red. Oh, it was so pretty. Um, maybe I will still get it in the future, but I highly recommend these. If any of these are your shades um, and you are interested, definitely go ahead and pick these up. Like I said, Belle and Ariel, mm, they are so, so pretty. Um, if hot pink is your thing, go for it. Those just were not my cup of tea. All right, moving on to the lip glosses. Um, okay, so I did say earlier that there were three, Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo. I did not pick up the clear one because it was just a clear gloss. Um, I really didn't think I needed that. So I picked up these two. They're okay. Um, not my favorite lip gloss, not the worst lip gloss ever. They're not really sticky. They feel really nice on the lips. I don't know. It's just like, it's okay. See, I'll put this on top. It's okay. I would say that um, Bobbity, I actually enjoy more than I do Boo. Boo ended up being a little bit too pink for my taste. Um, I mean, I'm still going to make it work. <laughs> I'm sure there's some makeup looks that I can do, but now that I actually see them in person, I kind of just wish I went with this, just this one. So they're okay. I wouldn't say that you have to have these, but if it's something that you are interested in, go ahead and get them. All in all, I am a total fan of this collection. I think they did a fantastic job. So I don't remember all the prices off the top of my head. Um, so I have so I will have those all listed down below for you guys if you are curious about all the prices. And that is it for this video. So if you guys did like it, please give it a big old thumbs up for me. And I'll see you next time. Bye.